If you're looking to get a little bit crafty, then here's two easy projects that the kids will love. So first up, I'm making mushroom seats out of terracotta pots. So here's what you'll need. You'll obviously need the terracotta pot, but make sure you look for a much larger saucer. You'll also need two Monarch mini rollers and trays, a sash brush, a detail and finishing brush, and the right collection of paint. I'm using traditional white and red for my mushroom, just like straight out of a cartoon. But you could, of course, use different colours. Now the pot itself will form the stem of the mushroom. So I'm just getting some paint on the rim so we can let it dry, flip it over and get the rest of it done. I'm just going to wash the roller and then get rid of any excess water to prepare it for painting. Mini rollers are a great way to get through small areas like this really quickly. You can see we're going to need a few coats. Okay, I'm just finishing rolling out the top of our mushroom. Take a look at that brilliant red. My God, who chose this top for me? <laughs> when it comes to doing the circles on the top of the mushroom, you wanna make sure you look for the right brush. So this is a Monarch detail and finishing brush, and you can see it's nice and rounded. So there are two different ways that we can do these circles. If you want smaller ones, you can either just dab the brush and spin it around, and it'll give you a nice little circle like that. Or if you want bigger circles, then you just let the brush curve around to form a circle and let the brush do the work for you. All right, let's put our mushroom together. So there you have it, the perfect little garden seat for the little ones. All right, now let's get on to the second project, painting rocks. And I was a fan of the hungry little caterpillar as a kid, so I'm using that as my inspiration. And I'm just starting by painting the rocks white as a bit of a primer so that those colours on top really pop. I'm using a Monarch 18mm brush. They call it a bevel liner. It's really good for small projects like this or touch-up jobs. I'm just doing the face of our hungry little caterpillar here. I'm using Craft Acrylic Paints. And just remember that you'll need to do a few coats, particularly if you're using dark coloured rocks. So for the smaller details like the eyes, you'll need to get your hands on a finer brush. Because I've used an acrylic paint, once they dry, water isn't really too much of a problem, but I always like to give them a bit of extra protection with a clear acrylic finish. So there you have it, two cute, easy projects for the little kids and the big kids. So there you have it, two cute, easy projects for the little kids and the big kids.